For the last 2.6 million years, our planet has witnessed severe climate changes. Long cold periods or glaciations have alternated with short warm intervals or interglacials. During the glaciations, water was locked in huge ice caps up to several kilometers thick, causing sea level to drop drastically. During the interglacials, the ice sheets melted and the sea level rose again. The once dry landscapes were drowned and subsequently buried by sediment. This means that prehistoric landscapes and the fossils therein are easily disturbed by offshore activities. For decades, fishermen have uncovered bone material here from extinct mammals. Fragments were found here of, among others, elephant, rhinoceros and red deer. The large quantities of bone material dredged up from the bottom of the North Sea over the last decades suggest that in the past, these now drowned landscapes were full of life. Reconstructing the prehistoric landscapes helps us to understand where animals once roamed and where our ancestors, who are mainly hunter-gatherers, may have lived and how they migrated. The first step to visualize these landscapes involves the use of seismic techniques. A sound source is towed behind a ship or attached to an underwater robot and sends out an acoustic signal that travels down through the water, penetrates the sea floor and bounces back from the different sediment layers beneath. These recorded signals, after extensive processing, allow us to visualize the buried layers and their relief. When the offshore industry has activities and constructions planned at sea, it is helpful for them to know what areas are archaeologically sensitive. In Belgium, major infrastructure works are planned at sea in the near future in order to protect our coast from major storms. The Schur is one of the targeted areas. The amount of bone material already found here indicates an extremely sensitive archaeological spot. Knowing what the prehistoric landscape looked like is crucial for minimizing the damage to archaeological artifacts. It also helps the industry save both time and money by reducing possible delays due to unexpected finds. A better knowledge of the islands and lagoons that once existed off Zeebrugge furthermore allows us to better evaluate the effects of future sea level change on the present coast. In other words, the past is our window to the future.